Hi everyone, in this video I'll be going over the steps for creating a parametric uh, little container box that you can adjust the you know the parameters for the width, the height, the and um, all the different you know adjustments that you see here. And so you can also change the cap, the thickness of the cap here. And so I'll be going over the steps for creating this. What you're going to start with is a basic rectangle, or you can start with any other shape. But for this, for this exercise, I want to be able to create an, um, a specific amount of um, um, a specific sp amount of space inside. So we're going to go 20 by 20 millimeters on the inside, and so that's going to be our basic geometry and of course we can change that with the slider and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna offset and I'm gonna make sure that I offset this is called the offset uh, component and it's gonna offset it's gonna default out to one so let's um, increase that to a three we'll have a slider here we can adjust that and so that's going to be our basic parameters for the box. Um, you can also create a slider here uh, and do a fillet radius on that on the rectangle. So that's another uh, way to adjust the geometry there. And so now that we have those two, it's a matter of putting them together and creating a solid with a specific height. So let's do that. Let's extrude this curve and so we're going to extrude twice the top curve or let's do the outside curve at the top and this one at the bottom and we're going to go in the z direction it's going to default to one but let's give it a slider of 20 and as you can see here we have it, two open uh, surfaces here and one way so it doesn't look all messed up here you go up here to the top right where it says quality and you go to high quality <coughs> that way you can see things uh, sharper and it's just a lot a lot better to work with uh, of course it is uh, gonna take up more you know more memory on your computer so be mindful of that if you have a slow computer but for now we have this one and this one and since they're open we want to close them so I'm gonna I am gonna select it spacebar and unpreview those and I'm going to cap them so cap holes and I'm gonna do one and the other and so we have a solid inside of the other and now we know that that's the outside one and the inside one we're gonna hide it and we're gonna do a solid difference that's this component here so we're gonna take the outside one and subtract the inside one and we have a closed B rep as a result so I guess we can put this down here to clean it up a little bit so we can go up we can fill it the radius we can also adjust the thickness of the outside we could also change how wide it is so that should give us a good base geometry and so let's continue creating the bottom part so let's extrude once again So this is the inside curve, that's the outside curve. We're going to extrude that one in the Z direction. And we're going to go the same amount as that as this thickness. So as you see here, this is what cr creates the thickness outside. It's a thickness of 6. We want the bottom to be a thickness of, of, of 6, but at the bottom. So we're going to go negative because we want to extrude that down so we're going to go in the z direction we're going to go down 
but we're going to go 6. And as you can see, once again, it's open, so that's my typical thing to do is cap holes and then put that there. And so we successfully created the outside thickness that is consistent all the way around. Of course, you can add a little bit more if you wanted to, but I feel like that's a good base. And so we have this, we have that, and it's now a matter of creating the top part, which is the cap. And for that, we're going to have to basically use the same geometry and move it up uh, to kind of continue on using the same initial geometry and we can create the cap. Alright, so I'm going to move both I'm going to move first the, this geometry, which is the outside geometry, up. And since we already have this height that we're going up, see 48 in the Z direction, I'm going to plug that right into here. And there we have, I'll put it up here because it's the cap. There we have that, um, that curve which is right at the outside but what happens is that if I extrude that down and I 3d print it it'll be so tight that it's almost impossible to get it off so we are gonna have to create a little tolerance a little offset a tiny tiny offset that will allow us to be able to print it and be able to close this down correctly so that's that's what I'm doing here I'm taking that curve and I'm gonna offset it and it's gonna offset out a default of one but what I want is a default of point, point 0.5. Oh, let me do that again. I'm going to do a point 0.5. And that's going to give me a range of point 0.1 to 1. To, from point, uh, 0 to, to 1. And I'm going to put it at point 0.2. Or actually, let me do a range and do this. Because I've already tested this. And the one that's worked for me is point 0.15. And we're going to offset out that 0.15, which is a very tiny amount, but just enough to for it to clear um, and be able to 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 close. So I'll show you a 3D printed part that I created uh, using this. And so, OK, we have it here. And this um, we're going to offset. And this is going to be the thickness of the, of the cap. So to the outside, we'll say, we'll say uh, 3. So we have outside curve and inside curve. And we all, we're basically going to take the same way we... And we're going to extrude, extrude this basically down to create the 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 cap so let's do that let's extrude let's do the same thing we did before but let's do it in a quick way because we already know the steps so we're going to extrude we're going to cap holes and we're going to do a difference and we hide all of these because at the end we'll have the result and this is going to be outside and inside because that's a and b and it does matter which order you put them in so the result is it's good. That's the outside curve. That's the inside curve. And we're going to do a Z. But we know we're going to extrude down. So we're going to go in the negative direction. Now that we have the direction, we can pick a slider to pick the cap size. that was supposed to go there and so there we go we have that that's what that's what we wanted to create the basically the cap on the outside and so as you can see we can still go here go up and down and that cap will that cap ring will be on the outside and we can adjust the thickness or the height we can adjust the tolerance and we could also adjust the thickness so it's not too thick sometimes and 
Okay, there we have it. We have the cap almost done. But we still have to create the top part. So let's extrude. So we see we have this curve, we have this curve. This is the outside curve. This is the inside curve. So let's extrude this curve. Uh, not this curve, the outside curve in the Z direction. And we're going to have to cap, cap it. And we're going to have to hide that. And we are going to go in the Z direction. We're going to go three. And so there we have the cap. We can make it big, we can make it smaller. So we have the ring, the cap, and the container. Now let's put them together. So union. And when you do a union, you're going to want to flatten it always. That way it puts it all together. So. We have this and this, and we have a cap. The result is one closed B rep. And we're also going to union and flatten it here. So we're doing it a step at a time. There's this in the bottom. So let's go here and here, and let's hide these. that. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it organized here. So we have this solid and that is one close to rep. So there we have, we successfully created the, let's see here, we successfully created the, the entire container and it w didn't take us too long. It's, um, now it's just a matter of cleaning it up. Let's go 1.5 here. The thickness we offset it at six let's go to three and the top part let's make it four and we'll make it an inside of 30 uh, let's go 40 we're gonna go a height of 40 also uh, let's go 50 and we can change the radius here to five. Or no, let's go to 10. So there, we have that. And we can take the, we can group it together. With grouping, it's the same thing. You want to flatten it. And so we let's put that in here. And let's put this in here. And I'm going to hide it, but I'm gonna, I'm going to hide it so you only see the two resulting components, but I can do a spacebar bake um, to be able to, you know, to bake, to bake it as a group, but still not see it as a group when you're in, in uh, Grasshopper. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. So there we have it. Now I'm going to give you an idea of what what it looks like. Um, so that's a that's a container, and then I'll give you a view of what it looks like in section. See what you want is this little offset here. That way it closes it down clean 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 and you won't have any issues of it opening up or having a you know have a hard time closing it uh, down so and opening it up so there's the I can copy it I can ungroup it I can so what I like to do is this let's get quad in here let's kind of get it ready for printing here so let's do rotate 3d Let's bring it down. So 
so there we have it. All right, so this is the result that we got on that rendering, and I feel like it looks pretty good. I'm gonna put that to the side and show you um, what we did, and just kind of recap a little bit of how simple it is to create something like this. Start with the rectangle, offset it out, um, and then extrude it up, get that thickness, and then extrude it back down to get the bottom part. Uh, then moving that geometry up, offsetting it to get a bit of a tolerance uh, so we can open it and close it easily. Then we have here the offset for um, how thick it's going to be on the outside. And we have the extrusion of the top and we have the extrusion um, yeah, that creates the cap here and that creates the top. So in the end, we have the cap there and we have the base that we grouped together. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions or ideas for other videos. These are a little bit more straightforward, but I feel like they're, they're very useful if you're trying to, you know, create something that, um, you know, that is not something crazy parametrically, but it's something that you, you know, if you want something that is a container for something uh, specific, you can go in here and adjust that and then ba uh, bake it and 3D print it. So, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully you learned something and uh, uh, thank you for watching. And as you can see, these are pretty nice. They turn out pretty clean and they close perfectly. You could also take it off, put, put it at the bottom.